Now, your weather rate certified most accurate forecast. Fox 54 weather. I literally just hit my <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I think that's more important, actually. <laughs> I'm I am a mess. I'm I telling you, <laughs> if it's not my back, it's my neck. If it's not my neck, it's me poking my eyeball. No, you know? no, no. Crazy. Well, mm -hmm. um, I was just going to say how hot it was today. That yeah. was a whole other And it's going to be thing. even hotter. Oh, that's great. I know. That's it's great. Cool. I'm so excited for it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and jump out to our graphics. I uh, do want to talk about the heat that we have been seeing. Uh, just notice the high temperature today in portions of Kansas. Wakefield, Kansas saw a high today of 112 degrees. High temperature today here in Huntsville was 89. Seattle saw a nice 77. So uh, hopefully we're going to be seeing in some 70s, but definitely not going to be anytime soon. Unfortunately, we are watching excessive heat warnings. Heat advisories off to our west. Wouldn't be surprised if these do get extended towards the east as we get throughout the next few days here because heat index values. These are going to be some of the hottest heat indices that we've seen so far this year. Tomorrow will be feeling like 100, 106 come Monday and notice heading into the middle of next week and towards the end. It'll be 112 on Wednesday and Thursday. Thursday, 109 on Friday, and it looks like we're going to stay hot heading into next weekend. So it, we could potentially be breaking records here, especially once we uh, get closer to the middle of next week towards the end of the week as well. I've got a forecasted high of 101 for both Wednesday and Thursday. Both the records on those days are 103. We could potentially break that, but I'm definitely watching for Friday because I do have a forecasted high temperature of 100. The record is 90. 99. Now we are seeing all of this heat because we've got this high pressure system that's basically just situating itself over the southeast so is going to and that is going to bring in a very hot air and it is going to be pretty muggy out there as well. So definitely not going to be uh, the comfortable conditions that we were seeing earlier this week. Satellite and radar showing dry conditions, a few clouds out there, but we are quiet and we're going to stay that way heading into the overnight temperatures right now mid and low 70s, 73 in Fayetteville, mid 70s in Huntsville, 73 right now in Athens and in Florence. Fort Payne has dropped into the upper 60s, 68 degrees, and it looks like that's where we're headed for our overnight lows. Mostly clear sky expected mid and upper 60s across the Tennessee Valley. If you do want to get outside tomorrow and um, roast, it is going to be mid and low 90s. We will be seeing plenty of sunshine, though, so definitely make sure to wear your sunscreen because burn time probably only going to be about 10 to 15 minutes out there. UV is expected to be uh, between an 11 and a 12. We're going to be dry for the next six days, but this time next week I do have a small opportunity for rain, so scattered showers and storms are slowly going to make their way back into the seven day forecast. Want to talk about the tropics because tropical storm six has Formed, not really expected to become a name storm. It's really just going to be a, what we like to call a fish storm going to die down back in the Atlantic. We're watching four areas for development, though. This one in the Gulf has a 50% chance of development within the next seven days, 70% chance of development for these two that I've just shown you. And then we're watching this one that has just come off of the western coast of Africa has about a 30% chance of development within the next seven days. We were kind of at a lull there and notice hurricane season doesn't come to an end until November the 1st but things definitely starting to ramp up. Seven day forecast mid 90s, plenty of sunshine. Temperature is going to continue to warm throughout the next seven days here. Notice we'll be back in the upper 90s by the beginning of next week. 101 forecasted high for Wednesday, Thursday. It looks like we'll stay in the hundreds come Friday. Scattered showers move back into the forecast on Saturday. All right, I'm going to toss things over to Nick. He's got sports for us tonight. All right.